All right. So what what is it that Mulcahy doesn't like about the president's move? He says thinks that it's unstrategic. Not that it's just wrong or personally hurts him, but that it's not strategic. It's not a clever way to do it. So let's look at what we're where we are at where we're at. Mulcahy knows the, knew that the president wanted to get rid of him. So the president's goal is to get rid of Mulcahy, and he can do that just by firing him, which is what he chose what he chooses to do. The problem with just firing him outright like that is it makes the president look weak. Like he can't handle any disagreement. It makes him look like a bad leader, a bad administrator, a bad, a bad president, just incompetent. So that's not a strategic thing to do. It's not a strategic way to get rid of Mulcahy. It's an unstrategic way to get rid of Mulcahy. And Mulcahy in this thing is saying that if, if I have to be gotten rid of, at least you can do it in a clever and strategic way. Now, what are some clever ways the president could have gotten rid of Mulcahy? Well, maybe he could have framed him for a crime, you know, planted evidence, and he had him arrested for stealing or embezzlement or something like that. He could have changed the work environment so that Mulcahy just hated it so much there that he left on his, on his own. The president could have hired somebody else that Mulcahy just hated, and so Mulcahy would have then left on his own. The president could have had some other president of another college hire Mulcahy away, and therefore the president would have to deal with him and he would still be gone. All of those would be strategic ways to get rid of Mulcahy. But instead, the president chooses this unstrategic way, just firing him, and in doing so, ends up looking, in Mulcahy's view, like a weakling who can't handle disagreement, a bad leader, and an incompetent president.